I hope you enjoyed that new starting screen and of course you might find that throughout this whole stream I've added new stuff and there's a new be right back screen there's a new uh, ending screen and that is because I'm actually streaming in 2.2 um, K resolution which normally if you know me I can't do because my internet is a literal a burning pile of rubbish however last oh it was this Tuesday we got fiber to the premises installed Yay! Um, hi Samantha, hello X, hope everyone is having a lovely day. Thank you so much Samantha, I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Lovely to see you here. Cat, Cat says getting raised by you one year at a time, four to five years right now. That's so sweet, I can't, that's so sweet Cat, 31 months, that is an insane amount of time. Thank you so much for being a legendary piney for that long. And of course Sassy12 Samantha was also member for 20 three months oh my goodness sandy let's go halfway to one year halfway there i feel like i've been a member of you about six months as well i can't remember what my last sending was uh but hello guys so i'm really excited because today i'm streaming streaming red dead redemption 2 um which means we'll just be doing i i haven't really done like a soft role play kind of stream i guess it'll be less about like pretending that I'm actually in the game and more about like answering questions um, about Sporkle and Jericho and all of the characters that you might see appear in today's stream. Um, we are in single player today because as Queasy informed me there are just loads of griefers um, and I don't really feel like being blown up for like 15 minutes plus I can control the world in single player so I can make it a certain time, certain weather, stuff like that which is fun um, and I can't do that in um, um, online. Sissy 35 months, wow how long is is that exactly i think that's almost three years am i right oh my goodness my cat is pestering me i had my dog with me before but he's gone now so that's quite sad yes yes indeed oh no stream is kind of like on top of everybody hi bianca how you doing hope you're doing well nora hello lots of love to you and of course it'll come up over here um now youtube has added a new thing where when i click on messages i can like see all of the options for them which isn't necessarily what i wanted to do um but that's fine oh don't worry about it horse illustrator i don't know gosh stream apps is being so mean today hang on let me let me decrease the sensitivity maybe do that yeah i'm so sorry i'm reading the messages that are getting deleted for whatever reason um 
Well, that's perfectly fine. Thank you so much, um, Mabel, who is the horse illustrator, for your for your support. Hi, Mabel, my sister, Crab Girl. I've got your clips in. You can see the butterflies. Thank you so much for them. Hi, Ava. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hi, guys. I see everybody saying hi. Oh, my gosh. You have a chihuahua, too? Oh, that's so cute. I have one. His name is Unit, and he's an adorable. How long will the stream be? Don't know. However, how, well, either when my PC explodes or um, I get tired. One of the two. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the link to become a member. I think it's in my description somewhere, Alex. Sarah Wolf IT, thank you for the five months. Oh my goodness. Hello to you too. You like the clips? Thank you. Technology is your best friend. Me, since when? Honestly, technology's working with me today, and I appreciate that. You know, I very much appreciate that. Uh, you're very excited to see Sparkle and Jericho. So am I. I'm, I had them set up just now. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to try and, like, see how today goes. I don't have any expectations of what I want it to be. I just kind of want to jump in, say hi to you guys, show you my Red Dead world and all of that. Uh, thank you so much, Bianca. That's really sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that went up Friday. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it at all. YouTube switched off my comments and then deleted all of them, which was great. Love that. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. I think that came up just before. Yeah, it did. Your message was hello. Hello to you, too. Um, thank you ever ever so much um sadie adler hello L first live stream i've made of yours welcome today we're doing reddit redemption 2 thank you mabel you found the link congratulations um awesome so i'm gonna actually go ahead and switch to this game screen so you can see this is me in single player uh you might notice that my character doesn't really have eyebrows um I want you to just ignore that, okay? Uh, and there's somebody walking past. Howdy, friend. Oh, poor guy. His feet hurt, apparently. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube, indeed. Hi, Dutch. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. YouTube has just been such a pain recently but here we are um now this is modded in paddock um you can find this on the nexus mods i think it's mcfarlane ranch 1980 something no probably later 1897 maybe um and today we're going to be riding sporkle um sporkle's over here sporkle was made by rea sylvia on nexus mods and i think they did an absolutely fabulous job absolutely fabulous job but i wanted to show you guys here's nikita put your hand up if you remember nikita nikita's one of uh queasy's horses she in the game is a morgan um but i think in real life she's part arabian um then of course we have the legendary jericho he's just yelling at me apparently um so he's having a bit of a, a hissy fit um then of course over here we've got gizmo uh we're not going to be riding these guys today it'll just be uh me and sporkle um we're at mcfarlane ranch here i'll show you on the map if i just go ahead and pull up the map um so mcfarlane ranch is in hennigan stead which is right over here um it's technically in new austin i think uh, yeah, so there we go. There's there's Valentine and we're all the way down here if you needed the location um, So yeah, I've just got Sporkle's saddle and stuff right here um, And so I think I'm actually going to just jump straight on her um, We're gonna go ahead. Abby Lorcan is even here too. Hi Lorcan. Thank you so much for your idea the last few times um, On the rival star stream. That was really cool. I've just been forgotten about it's okay crabs. <laughs> Sorry Lorcan. Thank you. I do appreciate you. Gizmo. Yes, and of course we have our lovely I which okay, I have a quick question for you guys. Out of these four uh, I I class these as like my red dead horses even though two of them are queasies but you know they feature a lot who is your favorite um of course sporkle is a classic but sporkle isn't on in online um because she has a custom coat um of course nikita is really special because nikita's a morgan and i think morgans are just forgotten about a lot of the time um and uh queasy put a lovely mane on nikita so she's very unique and of course jericho i feel like i've seen so many people um ride their own versions of jericho and i think he's just stunning and of course gizmo i think gizmo is great as well he's a bit hefty i'm not gonna lie he's a bit of a chunker but um that's fine he's he's been doing cross country oh i'm gonna walk into him 
Oh, I'm so sorry, lad. Um, he's been doing a lot of cross country recently, which has been a lot of fun, but I wanted to take Sporkle out today because she's relatively new. Thank you, I never feel like an honorable member of society. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lorcan. I'll make sure next time to say hello to you first. <laughs> Gizmo, you like Sporkle? Jericho, definitely. Jericho's got such big personality. He's such an annoyance sometimes. I remember I used to take him out on Rise and he would just be the biggest butthead to ever exist. Um, Nikita, you like, oh, of course we like Nikita. I'm good, thank you, Sarah. Uh, Gizmo's your favorite. I have to admit, I really like Gizmo. I've used him in quite a few thumbnails as well because he's just so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take Sporkle into um, the round pen, give her a brush down, maybe a feed, and then we'll figure out where we're going today. Um, I gotta say, Gizmo is the love of my life. He is a sweetie pie, and uh, he looks stunning as well. Like, the thing is, is in this game, they have this problem where sometimes the white horses are too white, and because um, Gizmo's a flea bitten, he doesn't come across that way, which is so, so nice. Um, unfortunately, he is a bit on the chunkier side, so if you're not a big fan of chunky horses, you might prefer Jericho instead. Uh, why no crab's horse? Maybe, maybe I can get, oopsie daisies, maybe I can get you a custom crab's horse, who knows? Uh, I didn't mean to stop leading you, I'm sorry. Uh, Bianca, thank you for the five R-O-N. Is that Romanian? I think that's Romanian. Bianca's, I think Bianca is a Romanian name as well. Bianca's a really nice name. Um, so here we go, Sporkle is, is right here. How did you have a video, um, did you have a video on how to get mods? Yes, I do, I have um, two, uh, one of them's outdated, uh, one of them's sort of more recent, and then I have outfits and how to change horse coats in the game as well, so I have kind of like a full thing. Um, picture on Discord of Charlie, join the Discord to see a picture of Charlie, thank you Samantha for sending in Charlie. Um, so how do you pick up tax? So when you right click or hold right button, um, there's a H remove saddle, you can only do it in single player though, you can't do it in online, unfortunately. Um, so where do we want Want to go today guys so I'll open up the map if you're not familiar with the game you won't really know what you're looking at uh, because there's no terrain it's sort of like meant to be a paper map that you're looking at but I can point it out for you so do you guys want to go around New Austin which is this area here with um, armadillo and tumbleweed this is sort of like a desert area very hot very dry very arid loads of um, prickly stuff um, rattlesnakes as well which is always fun um, or we could go to a foresty area we've got tall trees up here which which is forest, strawberries, got loads of forest. Uh, we could go to the mountains as well, um, big valley. Um, the, this is West Elizabeth, that's actually really pretty. We might go to Little Creek actually, because that place is stunning. Of course, we've got another forest, which is Cumberland Forest. Um, we could go to the snow area, we could go up to Amberino. Uh, we could maybe head up to Colton maybe. Uh, we could always go Annisburg if we wanted to do like more of a kind of sprawling forest kind of vibe. And of course, we've got the marshes. I don't think anybody's gonna be choosing the marshes because they kind of suck. Um, I'm thinking my general plan was sort of to maybe go up through tall trees, uh, through strawberry, um, th over Big Valley, and maybe to Little Creek. Forest, 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 forest. Okay, we can we can go to the forest. Um, maybe after I don't know how long it'll take us to get to Little Creek, but maybe we could set up like a little camp there. Um, and maybe from there we could go up to Amberino if somebody wanted like snow, grizzlies, mountains and forests. That, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of West Elizabeth. I'm hearing a lot of strawberry and tall trees. That's sort of right up the creek river. That, ew, honestly, that place is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, Horse Illustrator says, Abby, I'm getting my first PC soon. I tried it out because my dad bought it for my birthday and its name will be Steven. Do you name your PC? Is it just me? No, my first um, PC was called Kevin and my current PC is called Cordelia. So um, I do indeed name my PCs. Uh, right, so Forest. Okay, so we're sort of, we're going Tall Trees and Little Creek. Okie dokie, that's no problem at all. So let's go ahead and um, we'll just give uh, Spork a little bit of a brush. And um, I might I might have left the setting on to keep her clean. Uh, I hope I didn't. Um, I might have to check that moment. Oh, I have to be on her. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lead her just over. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh, she's got stuck. This way, Sporkle. Okay, there we go. She's free. Um, so we're going to go at the spot with the lavender fields. That's where we're heading to. So it's about... Um, 
I don't know what exact time it is, maybe seven or eight o'clock? Uh, the time is running slower, so we have some time to get over there. Um, I will have to really quickly check if I've left something on that I shouldn't have. Um, always cause never drain. No, okay, I didn't leave the always clean on, did I? No, okay, good. Um, Cause you know, we want a little bit of realism. We want her to get a bit dirty. So before we um, head off, I have a couple options for you guys. So do you want me to ride in first person like this? Um, I personally, love playing like this um, on my own, but obviously I'm a bit distracting because I'm in the corner for you guys, so it might break the immersion a little bit. Or we can go um, sort of super close to our horse and rider in third person. We can go a bit further away so that we can see more of the um, environment, or we can go really quite far away. Um, I think I quite like this this option here where we're sort of just a little bit a little bit away. This is normally what I play in. Um, also, you ma match Sporkle so well. Thank you. I made this outfit. I really wanted to, to make it super, like, cowboy. Um, I haven't decided on Sporkle's discipline just yet. Uh, we've just sort of been doing trail rides just for fun. First person, really? Really? Oh, my. Okay, there's no such thing as a white horse. I know there's Cremellos and Greys and all of that fun stuff. Um, all of them, you want all of them at the same time. If I could, I absolutely would. Um, yeah, you can't untack online, unfortunately. You have to um, first person, some people say. How about um, for when we set off, we'll... How about we actually no you know what we'll do first person for a little bit and then we'll do third person does that sound good that sounds like a vibe um i also wanted to ask is uh the music all all right and my voice isn't too loud the music isn't too you might notice that for example if i stop talking the music gets louder um so let me know if you think anything should be adjusted so we'll just have sporkle kind of bust through now i'm gonna go ahead and try and make my way all the way over to tall trees without a map um i reckon we'll be able to do that no problem because i actually do my <laughs> i've played a lot of this game so i think i could um I could definitely make it over there in no time. Um, we could definitely switch a bit later on, but for right now, we'll just go ahead and start in first person. Um, and at a nice walk, you know, we're gonna give Sporkle a bit of a pat and say thank you. Now, I did actually make Sporkle a bit bigger than the Arabian because I just despise how small the Arabians are. They're honestly, if Arabians were that big in real life, they would be counted as ponies. Um, so let me just zoom out so you can see. So she, she looks kind of normal sized, right? Um, um, she's still smaller than Jericho and Gizmo. She's bigger than Nikita, but Nikita's tiny. Um, so I've made her a bit bigger than the normal Arabian. So you might notice that if you um, if you get on an Arabian, you won't look the same as I do because she's bigger. Um, yes, there are. You put in a white paint card next to the gray and get back to me. I will tie on this hill about white horses. Honestly, that's the thing is I don't know where the whole there are no white horses came from. But I'm pretty sure that's technically, I've heard at least, don't quote me on this, that it's outdated because of the fact that nowadays with breeding, you know, Abby, is cheese canonically spooky? I love that question. Thank you so much, Schleich Wilds, for the question. Um, I think I'd have to ask Skittle, um, but I'm going to say canonically, no, I'd say cheese is not canonically um, spooky. Jericho is. Um... Jericho is definitely spooky, but cheese, I feel like cheese gives like big man vibes, you know, like he's he's a little guy with with a big personality and he doesn't really get scared at a lot. Who knows? Maybe maybe he does. Maybe that'll change in the future. Um, how is Jericho? Jericho's doing great. He's had some time off ever since I got Sporkle. Um, I've been enjoying doing rides with the both of them. Uh, she's pretty. Looks more like an Egyptian than those tiny little things. Tell me about it. Rassel, did you say you played Red Dead Redemption 2? Because uh, I absolutely hate Arthur on any sort of Arabian. I just feel like he just looks so big. Like I feel like Raleigh Link would be making a video on him if it was real life because he's way too big for those horses. Uh, Dominant White is the only true white horses, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, something, I, I know it used to be that they're not true white because of the gene pigmentation. Now, 
Astride specifically have really done their research on genetics and if you were to have any questions I'd probably recommend asking them because they know but from what I sort of know you have like your base coat and then dilution and um, some horses will be like say uh, I don't know a dun and then their dilution will make them cremello that Again, that's just an example. I don't think that that's actually correct. Um, but uh, that was kind of, kind of, I think, what the whole there is no white horses sort of came from. Um, video idea, summer storyline. I actually had like a full, I don't remember if this was last year or the year before that, but I had like a full sort of list of things that I wanted to, um, to do. And I never got around to it because Red Dead sort of got a little bit, um, a little bit boring for me because it was sort of, uh, especially online, the fact that you can't go online, me and Queasy had a terrible time. That man was looking over his shoulder quite a lot and I don't appreciate that. It makes me nervous. Spark Games, how has your week been? It's been up and down, I'm not going to lie. Um, I had a wonderful uh, Tuesday because that's when we got our fiber installed. So that was wonderful. Um, how is Sporkle, Jericho's new friend? They get on really well. Um, he was really hesitant of her at first because Jericho really likes Nikita. We keep making jokes that they're like together and stuff. Um, but Sporkle and Jericho get on really well, mostly because Sporkle is just so sugary sweet and she's so like wonderful um that we have like no problems with her with any of the horses so um gizmo was a bit too excited when when he met sporkle but that's just gizmo gizmo is like a massive labrador he doesn't like he doesn't know how big he is so he'll like run around and buck and rear and he doesn't realize he could do some serious damage but it's fine uh, what breed is Jericho and how old is he? He is, um, in game he's a Turkman. I've kind of labeled him because if you didn't know, Turkmans are actually an extinct breed, so they don't actually exist anymore. Um, but they're sort of the ancestors of, um, Akaltiks. So, um, I sort of put him down as like an Akaltik thoroughbred cross because his backstory is, um, sorry that man, uh, spooked me for a minute. I'm more spooky than, um, Sporkless, um, that I kind of, put him down as like sort of a, a, an ex-racer so um i think i did have a full backstory in him and it generally was sort of like he never actually ran but he was bred for racing sort of vibe um so yeah that's that's his sort of story um thank you for the question though tia that was really nice <laughs> What do you think of character? Uh, oh, a Alec. Uh, b -b -b sorry, I can't read. Um, Arthur's character in game. I think what as like personality wise, um, because he's a very co complicated man. He's a very very complicated man. He's seen things. He's gone through things. I think um, he lost his son, so that must have been incredibly difficult for him. But um, you know, he's a lot of fun to play because he's very outgoing and uh, he's not afraid to get done what needs to be done now i just want to watch this because sporkle yeah she's fine i was gonna say because jericho will sometimes just balk at the water and just won't go over he's so strange because he hates rain so so much which doesn't bode well for us because we live on mcfarland's ranch um which gets rain all the time so sporkle should do eventing <gasps> yes oh my gosh i bet she'd be great at eventing um i I wish, I really wish this game had like plaited, like actual plats, because at the minute they have braids for the main, but it would be really nice if we could have like, I know they didn't really do that back in the day, but uh, still would be cute, still would be cute. Do you think there will be more Treto rides? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I am really enjoying myself. Obviously, it's a lot more stressful to do it online because you're dealing with, you know, random people. If somebody comes onto the microphone, they might say something that you don't want to hear. Um, generally, it's just a bit of a gamble. So Rattle's done their research. Um, fun fact, after checking the bloodlines of thoroughbreds, it turns out that um, that the three Ar Arabians that established the breed was a Turkoman. Oh, Arabs. I thought they said Arabians, my bad. So the three Arabs that um, established the breed was a Turkoman. I had no idea. I know that um, Arabian bloodline is in almost every horse breed, um, apart from say like drafts um, or cold-blooded horses, even though sometimes um, warm bloods will have slight Arabian in them. Um, you did you did do your research. Hi Sandy, I don't know if I said hi to you Sandy, but hi, hello Sandy, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I'm looking forward to your stream later on. Um, I might hop on um, and play some Star Stable with you while you're streaming. 
Uh, if you're on the English server, I didn't actually check what server you're playing on. Um, how did you get the uh, get Sporkle and the name of Sporkle? Sporkle's unique and beautiful name. Thank you. Is is your name pronounced Sig Signy? Sign? I I know it's right on the top of my brain where I can I can see how I'm supposed to say it, but I can't remember. Um, so Sporkle, the story behind that was sort of um, when Star Stable released the Pintavians, I was in love with the Palomino one. Um, Queasy then did like a drawing of um, what at the time was Sporkle uh, and she was like, this is you if you were a horse. And I was like, ah, oh, thank you, compliments. Um, and so I was like, oh, I really wanna make this my logo horse for my channel. And I was kind of looking for a name um, and I decided on a kind of mix between Spork, like Spoon and Fork and uh, Sparkle. And that's where Sporkle came from. <laughs> um, ooh, eventing horses. We could definitely do one. I could set one up at some time. Um, do you really love thoroughbreds, Rattle? You don't seem like the thoroughbred person. I would put you down as maybe... First thing that comes to mind is definitely like... Actually, I was gonna say draft, but I'm not sure if that's correct. Maybe... Warm blood, perhaps? Perhaps? You said hi to me, don't worry, Abby. Sadly, I'm gonna be in Europe this stream. <gasps> oh my goodness. What, like, East? Europe? West Europe? Is that the server? Uh, thank you, Mabel. Do feel free to join the Discord server. We do, like, stuff there. Sometimes we hang out in the voice calls and listen to lo-fi music while people stream. It's really fun. Um, so I think Sporkles had a bit of a warm-up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and... Um, now, I can't remember. Actually, we'll go up. We'll go up to the left. Um, cause I think that's the quickest way to tall trees, which is where we wanted to go. So let's go ahead and put her in a trot. She's so good. Did you see that transition? She did not give me any kind of sass. Jericho is so annoying because if you ask for a trot, first of all, he'll do a super lazy trot and then he'll like pin his ears back at me like he's mad. Now I'm, tr I'm thinking, is this the correct way? I might end up have just going in a circle. No, actually, I'm going to believe in myself. Oh, no, this is the right way. Okay, I do know my right way around. Let's go. I love and adore drafts. Drafts are so pretty. Their breads are great. It's true. Okay, I have a question um, for you guys. If you were a horse breed... Oh, let's turn... Oh, she's so good. What an absolute star. I'm going to give her a pat for that. Um, if you guys were a horse breed, what breed would you be? Not just a horse, like a horse breed that you'd like, but what's a horse breed that you would be? Because I'd like to see if your personality was a horse breed. I think that's better to word it. Um, what would you be? Rattle says their top three breeds are Marwari, Thoroughbred, and Lipizzanas. I would not have put you down for any of those horses. I don't know why. Uh, but their stunning horses are really lovely. My horse is Spirit, of course. What an awesome horse to choose. Um, hey, Abby, what are your preferred pronouns? I'm just she, her. Thank you for asking, though. Um, really appreciate that, Nix. Uh, yeah, ooh, Thieves Landing, yes, I, ooh, actually, we'll, we'll go up this way. I need to start making decisions. Sporkle's doing so well. She honestly just puts up with me. Um, she's a little bit more alert right now because she can probably hear some, um, hear some stuff going on, but she's okay. She's doing so well, actually. Gypsy Vanna, um, Emzy would be a Gypsy Vanna. Jamie would be a Quarter Horse. Dutch would be a Clydesdale or Shire. Um, Lauralee would be a Mustang. Hello, Flickers. LT, yes, that's it. Um, I've been Irish Cob because I'm chunky. I love Irish Cobs. I think they're so cute with their feathers on their feet. Adorable, adorable. You'd be an Arabian. Ooh, are you hot and, hot and spicy personality wise? Not, not afraid to tell someone how it is. Now, Sporkle is not happy. Why is Sporkle not happy? Oh, she's very much not happy. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to take her down into a walk just so that she can kind of get a bearing on her surroundings a little bit. Um, because otherwise she's going to get a little bit... I don't want her to... The thing is, is she's not spooky, but she's very intelligent. She's aware of stuff around her. So I want her to just sort of figure it out for a little bit. Shetland. Pretty much useless, but I got a good fight. I think Shetlands are great. And they're companion horses, Rattle. Uh, Shetlands are usually companion horses. And if they're not companion horses, they usually are... Um, they teach kids how to how to ride um and they, i think they also do showing as well which is cute for um a fjord and a trakenna arab nervous but brave and gets it done heck yes um 
It's the amazing graphics for me. I know. I've actually put a filter on what you guys are seeing. Um, so it has slight contrast and slight saturation because I love this game to bits, but sometimes it's a little bit too um, washed out sometimes it looks like. Uh, I did actually put, because you can put in-game filters on with the um, NVIDIA uh, graphics settings, but um, it made my PC sort of have, have a bit of a fit. Um, hello, sir. I hope you're doing well. He had a rope bridle. Um, I was thinking of putting a rope bridle on Sporkle, but she seemed happy enough in the um, in the normal bridle. Now, what is... Oh, no, that man's about to get kicked. Look away. <laughs> if you know Red Dead, this, ma this poor man's about to get kicked. Oh, no, he's, he's messing with the horse's hooves. So we're just going to look at all of this. Isn't this wonderful? I'm going to pick up the pace Sporkle. Everything's fine. Okay, we didn't see it, so it's all good. I used to show miniature horses. You did not. That is so cool. Is I've heard of... What do you do in showing miniature horses? Because obviously you're not riding them. What Do you have them like... Um, is it a bit like cow showing where you have them all like dolled up and, and you like lead them around and, and judges choose like the one with the best form? Um, I think down there is Manzanita. So we won't... We... Yeah, we'll, we'll actually loop around. And then from there, there's a trail over the mountain. So we'll go that way. Um, what's your favorite movie or series? Um, so if we're sticking to horse themes, Spirit, of course. I have to admit, I really liked Flickr. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's Flickr with an A. Uh, it was just really good. Like, it broke some sort of um, stereotypical horse movie stuff, which I quite enjoyed. Uh, Sporkle is a paint cross of Raven. Yeah, that's known as a Pintabian, which I thought was so cool. Um, a Brumby, a, a wild Aussie. Brumbies are so cute. So, so cute. Um, oh gosh, I mean, he might survive it. We didn't see it, so for all we know, it's Schrodinger's man. Um, you know, I think he survived it. I'm choosing to believe he survived it. Um, <laughs> yes, it's such a pretty horse. Thank you. Thank you very much. I might um, actually, I'm enjoying first person, but I might pop out. Um, oh, Sporkle's getting a little bit grimy. That's fine. We'll pop out into third person for a little bit so that you guys can enjoy um this way now the thing is is i'd love to be able to steer with the controller but the camera doesn't stay in a position um if you've got a controller which sucks yeah we also did a bit of jumping as well so we jog beside them and we would have a command word for jump <laughs> that is the cutest thing i've ever heard what was there like a, did you have to go to a dedicated like um place or did you have your own um minis or yeah because when so when you went to it was it like a barn and they had they like bred minis and then you like showed them that's kind of cool abby knows what she's talking about on the show like me where the bush am i five minutes into riding yep i'm lost i actually have a pretty good handle um thank you to trone tro tree trone probably trone for subscribing um i have played literally i think it's a total of two and a half months on this game total time so that means i don't know how many hours that is it's a stupid amount of hours um so i kind of know my way around the map and that's both playing it genuinely whether it be the first time i did story mode online whatever and also content creation wise so you know flying around the map and placing stuff and finding things abby schrodinger's cat was actually done to prove the thought process that because we couldn't see it it doesn't mean it's between the states of being. Um, I know that, and I'm choosing to believe that his state is still alive. Is that a bear? No, it's a rock. I thought it was a bear. Now, I may have a cheat code on, which means that uh, wild animals will leave us alone, because I really didn't feel like having to dispatch of a bunch of wolves and bears and whatnot. Um, so even if we see a bear, we should be fine, you know? Because I think in real life, bears generally sort of leave people alone, right? Unless you, they're hungry um, or they're protecting their young. Is that right? I might be wrong. Please, please correct me. My school had a farm. You're lying. Your school had a farm? That's so good. Wait, you're riding school or you're like your actual like education school? <laughs> I miss it a lot because it was my only regular horse exposure. Oh... Kaz, that's so sad. Yeah, because you live in the city now, don't you? So I suppose there aren't very many um, horse places near you, are there? That's quite sad. Oh. Oh, no. Maybe maybe one day me and you will go out for a, a hack. 
in real life, not just in Red Dead. <laughs> Maybe we'll go gallivanting the- actually no, I have to admit Cass, I don't know if I can ever go to Australia because like, I love your culture, I love the the place, but my goodness, the amount of bugs and scary animals that you have, I just, I don't, I don't know how you live alone and I think I saw your story once where you had like this massive spider. It's just a no from me, generally. What about bandits? Um, I also have a setting on that says everybody just ignores me. So I think that includes people like bandits. If not, I'll just switch screens, get the job done, and then uh, come back. <laughs> That's a lot of hours. Oh my god, 1,460 hours apparently. Yeah, it's something like that. And that's just on this account. I actually have two accounts if you don't know. I have one account with the full game, so the single player that I'm in and online, and the other account only has online. Um, so it's fun. My high school! I lived in semi-outback Australia. We were known more for cows, agricultural area. We had um, a lot of farmland, like strawberries. That sounds so wonderful. That sounds really nice. Although saying outback is terrifying because I wonder what kind of creatures you'd had to come against um, in the outback. But that's really cool. I, I bet you do miss it a ton. That's a shame. I want them to make RDR2 a kids game. I don't think they'll do that, unfortunately. They've already abandoned Red Dead Online, so that's sad. I'd be a 30 mile trail near my house. That is awesome. My school had a little area that had chickens, goats, Shetland ponies. You could go there and hang out with them. You could sign up and look after them. Oh, that's so cute. We didn't really have anything like that in my school. Um, we'll just go into a trot. Now, I will have to stop pretty soon because Sporkle is getting just disgusting. I don't... I think it was going through the, the river that made her this disgusting. Thank you, L L L L L Lilani. That's such a pretty name and I'm terrible at saying it. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of people over there. Anyway, um, I'm going over here, so that's that's fine. Everything's fine, we're just... You know what? Now's a great time to pick up a canter. We're just gonna pick up a canter and go this way. I probably lost honor for that, for not helping, but that's fine. Uh, we've, we've picked up a lovely canter, and uh, we're cantering in the forest, so that's good. What's your childhood game? I think Minecraft is definitely one. I played a lot of Be Belisera as a kid. Um, Australia is beautiful but deadly. It, that's a great way to put it, Sandy. Beautiful but absolutely deadly. Absolutely. Right, oh, this is fun. I actually want to go back into first person for this canter bit because this is so much cooler in first person. I enjoy it a lot. Now, this is usually an area where there's a panther and if there's not a panther, there's a bear and if there's not a bear, there's wolves. And on a bad day, there's all three. So, um, that's fun. Um, I think we're clear though. Haven't actually seen any problematic wild wild animals at the minute. Um, I would have stopped um, at the lake, but uh, there were some problems across the water, so that's fine. Um, my school is right next to a farm in Break. I go with my friends. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Bye, Horse Illustrator. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. Um, oh, you, you do um, horse riding as a sport in your school. That's so cool, Sarah. I wish I had that. Coming through, sir. Coming through. Thank you very much. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is a bit we we windy wavy, but Sporkle's got it. Sporkle's an absolute queen. Um, so I think at this point we're out of tall trees and I think we're heading, yeah, I think I know. Okay, I'm gonna slow to a, a walk actually because this downhill is gonna be uh, a bit of tough on our hooves, so I don't really want to rush anything. Um, if I know, if I think in that direction, the direction I'm looking is strawberry. I think somewhere over there. Uh, we'll just go where the trail trail takes us. You know. Did I hear panther? Did I hear that correctly? You did. Sometimes there are panthers in the mountains, which is so fun. So so fun. Um, <laughs> Take yourself in cinematic mode your auto ride. Oh, I forgot about cinematic mode. I would do that. I, I might actually do that a bit later. Yeah, that's actually a good shout. Thank you, Rihanna. It's a really nice name. What do clips do on YouTube? They're really re weird, right, Cass? Because when I first saw clips, I thought they were like, you know, Twitch clips. You know, where you have like a little archive of them and you can like see them. Apparently not. Apparently you, if you clip a stream, it creates like a link. And then, but you can't see it on that person's like YouTube page. You can't find it anywhere apart from when you have the link, which is really weird. So it's just like, it snippets like a little video and makes it 
like an unlisted video somewhere um, and you can't find it unless you've got the link which is really strange very very strange um, yeah but the day's getting on now I think now it's about maybe nine o'clock ish uh, so the, you might notice that the time is I was like jump to horse I don't think so okay sorry you could have told me um, I think the time is going slower here because I, I don't really like the way that I think in total a day takes like half an hour um, I hope I'm just listening and I hear, I think in that direction is strawberry. Strawberry the town, not just a massive strawberry. Um, <laughs> can you make a video playing horse farm? I think I, you can make Sporkle there. Horse farm, is that a mobile game? Oh, why is Sporkle mad? Girly, calm down, everything's fine. Unless there's someone behind us. How do I look behind me? Is it C? Oh god, that was uh, motion sickness much. Okay, I won't be doing that again. Oh my god, it's just whip their head around. Oh, this is the bridge that I think me and Jericho had problems with in that one video. I think it is. It's either this one or the one that's slightly further down. This is such an awkward bridge. I think Sporkle should be fine though. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't like that. Okay. Um... Oh, Sporkle, you almost just fell off, bro. All right, uh, I'm going to advocate for dismounting and leading her across because I'd rather not fall to my death on stream. And Sporkle appears to not be able to walk in a straight line, which is just not super helpful. So, um, yeah, that's the thing, Sandy, is a part of me was like, oh, we should do online. But then there's griefers. Uh, the day-night cycle takes like... I think it's something like 25 minutes for the day and like 20 for the night. And spending 20 minutes in the dark is kind of sucky. Um, so I didn't really want to do that. See, that was not a problem at all, Sporkle. Uh, where are we going now, though? I think... Okay, so that way is Strawberry, I think. Okay, so you guys can choose here. If you want to go me to go that way, we can maybe stop at strawberry and um i can brush sporkle can make her less dirty feed her have a bit of a have a bit of a chill or we can follow this route which i think just continues on towards little creek um we might need to go through strawberry anyway if we want to go through the mountains because i'm not sure if that route has i might have a quick sneaky peek at the map um Yes, so if we take the route on the right, um, it got rid of my home mess old message and left only an emoji. <laughs> Did you send like an entire paragraph and then the the chat was like, was that Streamlabs? Did, did Streamlabs do that? I've got it off, I think, though. <laughs> Is all we got just an emoji? Oh no, Cass, I'm so sorry. left you think left oh that's a bug oh so it's not me it's youtube hey that's so cool youtube fix your system please strawberry is gorgeous with the purple flowers strawberry i'm thinking yeah because we're here so if we go to the left we can go up oh there's strawberry stables if we went down a little bit we could go into the stables um or we could just actually we'd have to go down to go into strawberry um or we can continue on this road here and go up by Owen Jilla. But if we go by Owen Jilla, I don't think we'll get to the top of Mount Shan. Is that Mount Shan? Yeah. So this is this uh, dotted line here is the top. Really, really cool views up there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I don't think, I mean, we could if we went up there. So we go through Strawberry. Yeah, go through Strawberry. The starting soon is cool, but a little sad. How come? Why is it sad? They're just having a vibe. Oh, is it the song maybe? Hi, Samantha. Lovely waving one. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, I press flee. Don't flee. No, don't flee. No, don't flee. Sporkle, Sporkle, come back. Sporkle, okay. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, gal. That was my own fault. I'm so sorry. I tried to stop bleeding you and I fleed. <gasps> okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll go down to the right, go through strawberry. Did I say left? I probably just said it the, the wrong way around. Strawberry just makes me sad. It always reminds me of the ROP. Did you do a roleplay on Red Dead? Did I miss that? <gasps> so, Samantha says strawberry emoji. Cute. Adorable. What's your opinion on the hobby horsing sport in Finland? I have to agree. I have to admit, Rian, I'm in love with the sport. And I genuinely hate it 
when the videos go like viral and a load of people are just commenting like ha cringe ha get a life uh -huh. it honestly makes me so sad because it's like these people are just trying to live their life and have fun like I don't know why it comes into such fire. I think it's super cool to be able to do that. You have to be super physically fit for it. And it allows them to express themselves with their horses. So it's okay. Spork will still with us. She's an absolute trooper. She won't let me down, I don't think. Cass did a roleplay in audio too. Oh, I missed that. Oh no, I need to watch that. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay, I will definitely catch up on the Cass, um, was it Cass law? Definitely. Cass, what time is it for you, actually? Because usually when I'm streaming, it's, like, really late at night for you. Sporkle is a verb in the Oxford Dictionary? Is it really? Are you sure? Are you sure it isn't, like, um, it's called Urban Dictionary? Oh, my ROP! Oh, yeah, when I got dumped off of Jericho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was such a fun day. We had so much fun filming that. Um... You have an RP though. I didn't know that. Do you prefer Western writing or English writing? Do you mean um, in real life or in the roleplay? Because in the roleplay, I definitely think I generally prefer English. Uh, I love doing the jumping. We did, um, what was it? The endurance run. We did cross country. That's a load of fun. But I've never filmed it, but we did barrels. Um, those were really fun to set up and do as well. So, um, but then again, like trail riding in an English saddle just, I don't think would look very good. Uh, 4 a.m. <laughs> That's so cool, Kaz. Uh, <laughs> your sleep schedule is just absolutely terrible. How do you even, how do you even, how? I, I mean, to be fair, I'm not gonna claim that I've never stayed up until 4 a.m. Cause I absolutely have. Um, but does it not make you feel like absolute trash the next day? Uh, oh my God, Abby, you got dumped by your horse. It's true, I did. Jericho dumped me. Um, and ran off and then I had to hitch a ride back to uh, Strawberry and uh, Queasy went looking for Jericho. She did find him and he was fine, but still was terrifying. Um, so this is the Arabian. Wait, which way? I think it's this way, hang on. Oh, sorry, Sporkle. So this is uh, the Arabian, however, it's bigger. So we've, um, we've made it uh, well, I've made it a little bit bigger because I don't like the Arabians. I don't like how tiny they are. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Appreciate it. Do your friends have a YouTube channel? I don't. I mean, I class Cass and Sandy as my friends, so yes, they do. Um, obviously, Cass is just another pixel. Um, Cass does a lot of horse game stuff as well as uh, Star Stable. Sandy does a lot of uh, horse game stuff and a little bit of Star Stable as well. Barrels and Red Dead. Yes, you can um, add objects. Um, thank you, Bella, Jess, and Monica for subscribing. Um, so yeah, you, they have uh, YouTube, but uh, a lot of my other friends, no, they they don't do YouTube. Like, Queasy doesn't do YouTube. Um, I think Nora, if Nora's still here, Nora does... Oh, yeah, yeah, there, there Nora is. Uh, Nora also does Red Dead stuff, which is really cool. Um, they have a an ETG uh, Instagram account as well. Um, Vivix did a bit of Red Dead stuff as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I am the casualty people people bringing to jumping lessons. Oh, I gave, gave a Western lesson online and I love it because I've never done Western only English and I've done so much research. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. That's the way to Little Creek. I'm gonna just double check where I am. No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, so what what I think we'll do is, bye cat. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop at Strawberry and give the horse a bit of a brush. Oh, she's struggling to get up this hill. Um, oh, she's so little. I think she's a little bit unfit for what she needs to be. Um, she's very unhappy that she's being made to <laughs> to do this much exercise. But, you know, it's, it's good for her, so. Does this game, game cost? It does, and it's quite expensive. If you just get online, there are sometimes sales for, like, $5, which is awesome. Uh, but if you want the full game, it'll about 59 Bye, Mabel. Have a wonderful time at the gym. Um, Red Dead is an 18 plus, yes. But do not worry, this stream has been curated to be um, appropriate for all kinds of viewers because uh, I've basically turned off all of the all of the nasties and this is an 100% save, so uh, we won't be running into any like um, obligatory missions or anything. 
This is not a new horse game. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> What's your favorite game? Um, I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six recently. Really enjoying that. Uh, played a bit of Valheim. That was fun too. I loved Days Gone. Um, I can't wait to play The Last of Us because uh, that's coming out on Steam pretty soon. Go, Sporkle, go. She shook her head. She said no. You go, Nora. You go. Poor Sporkle, this, this must not be an easy climb because this is like all uphill. Um, but she's doing so well. She needs definitely a bit more practice. Um, watch this, right? I'm going to put her in a in a trot. Like, she's so mad. Let's, uh, let's put her in a trot. Look at her little legs go. Actually, she's so much happier in a trot. I think jogging up a hill might be easier than walking up it, so... Put her in a trot. Oh, she's, she seems a lot happier right now. So maybe trot was what she wanted. <laughs> the last of us, of course. <laughs> Around Christmas, it's $20. Yeah, you can get it on sale sometimes. Um, you can get it on sale. And then there's like, you know, the deluxe edition, which is like 70 pounds. Generally, I wouldn't really recommend... If you want to spend that money, you absolutely should. I think this game is incredible. But I don't recommend the, like, deluxe edition or the extra deluxe or whatever it is. Um, it just comes with a few things. But that's this is a good leg training day. Absolutely. I'm going to have to take it back down into a walk in a sec. Actually, no. That shouldn't be too bad. Where am I? I thought... Have I gone the wrong way? No, I haven't. I know where I am. Never mind. I know exactly where I am. Okay. If we go up and to the left um i think yeah i see it over there you can see it through the trees strawberry yay is she gonna do her high steppies through the water i hope she does high steppies yay high steppies oh she's so cute she's got such little skinny legs she definitely needs more muscle on her her legs are so skinny and she's so grimy i'm so sorry um, I, I will brush her in just a moment. Spokal sort of looks like she had too much sugar and then had a sugar rush. Yeah. Yeah, she's not super fit, I'll, I'll admit it. Um, so, I only recently acquired her. So we have a lot of training to do with her. She's super sweet tempered, don't get me wrong. Um, but the dark chestnut thoroughbred, so pretty. So, so pretty. I have watched Arcane, 10 out of 10. She-Ra is like my favorite thing ever. Um, I haven't seen the Queen's Gambit though. I haven't seen that. Uh, thank you for the question though, Nix. Um, vibing on my SSO Sporkle, heck yes. Strawberry is my favorite place to go in the whole RDR2 universe. What's your favorite place to go? I mean, I love McFarlane's Ranch. I think it's just my vibe. I love the entirety of um, sort of the Blackwater area. I can't remember exactly what that was now um it's in west elizabeth but i love that whole area um i mean strawberry stunning but i think my heart lies with definitely mcfarland's ranch i really like that area sparkle is a drama queen she can be but she's sweet natured and you know i think at the minute she's just griping that she's having to do any sort of exercise which same girl same if someone made me do exercise i would be mad um, we'll just pick it up to a trot for now. Oh, she is so mad. She can see that there's a town up ahead and she knows we're going to be stopping. So let's, uh, get it into an active trot. And let's not... Where are you going, sir? Sir? Oh my goodness. Manners, please figure out where you're going. This is where I got harassed, actually, by the wagon driver. And he told me to, like, get off the road and he spooked Jericho. Very mad about that. I think... Oh, where's a good place to put her? Maybe outside the inn. The inn is probably good. Um, I don't really like Armadillo. Is it Armadillo or the other one that, like, the shopkeeper's really sexist? Because if you play as a woman character, you come in and he's like, it's okay if you can't read, darling. It's like, oh my god, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Um, ah, strawberry, my wonderful. It is stunning here, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's park up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hitch. Um... And I might pop into the shop and maybe get, I don't know, a can of fruit. Um, right now I'll brush her though, because she's so grimy. So grimy, girl. Become ungrimy. There we go. And do I have any... Ah, okay, I've got like... I can give her a classic oat cake, I think. Let's go ahead and feed. There we go. Oh, she's so cute. Tumbleweed. That was it. Tumbleweed, where the, the guy um, at the general store is, like, really sexist. <laughs> just, just so much fun. Is this the general store? It is. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in here. And we'll just pick up maybe... 
What do you guys want me to get? Um, we'll maybe get a few things. Or not. That is that door just locked or am I... <gasps> Did they lock me out? Oh, the saddle's so cute. Did they lock? <gasps> they locked me out of the supply shop. What the heck? Are you going this way? Nothing in here. <gasps> the guy's standing there. You can see him through the window. He's standing there. <gasps> Maybe he's not open yet. Maybe it's a bit too early. Although, I think it's like, what? Let me check what time it is. Oh, it's seven. Okay, time's going a lot slower than I thought it was. It is seven, so maybe they're not open. Oh, I can't believe I'm locked out. Now, I do have a bit of chill on my breath, so... I might need to watch our temperature. That sucks. I thought I'd be able to go into... <gasps> Kitty cat! Oh, it's so cute. I'm going into first person. Look at it. Look at the kitty cat. Scritch, scritch, scritch. That's so cute. Can I not? I don't think I can pat. No. I think you can pat the dogs, but you can't pat the cats. To be fair, does does that cat look like he wants to be pat? No. That cat looks content with their life. So cute. This walker is completely unfazed. So cute, though. Adorable. Right. Um... What else do we need to do? I mean, I've already fed her, brushed her. Maybe I should eat something. We've got, what have we got? Tinned peaches. She got locked out. I did. Uh. I've, ne I've never seen RDR, uh, an RDR cat. I know. I don't think I've seen them that often. I think they're really hard to spot. Kitty. I know. So cute. <laughs> Everybody's going insane over the cat. That's so cute. Um, right, I think I'll go grab Sporkle. Now we have another... Oh, I'm so sorry, Sporkle. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. There we go. Um, so we have another decision to make. Um, so we're currently right here, this little spot here. Um, okay, we can either go to the right of this dark black line, um, go along here, and I'm pretty sure... If we go up here or here, it'll take us to the top of Mount Sean and we can go along there. Or if we go left, uh, we come down here, up, go through here, and then meet sort of like halfway at the top. That could also work. Do we have any preferences? Maybe. Maybe go 